first ID guy. Hey. So this video is going to be in three parts. Application, collection, and summary of all the documents and the steps that you need to follow to apply for your Kataraji identity. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mil. And I'm back with another video. Hey, this video is going to be about the Brazilian ID card, which is called Katia de Identidade, or simply the RG or the General Registry. I'm going to put you through the different steps on getting an ID. This is very easy and straightforward. It's my first Brazilian ID card. Actually, the first Brazilian ID card is free. My first ID card is going to be the innovative one. It's going to be the new ID card. So I'm also very excited. Yeah, so we're here at their location. So that's the office and we need to, we're in the queue. So we need to go there 11, 11, 20, 11, 30, 11, 35. We came very early because we thought like, you know, when you come early, you can just join the queue. Normally our appointment is at 11 but we've been here since 8 o'clock and we've been waiting until now so i said we have to wait until 11. it's 9 a.m so we still have two hours we're here with their boys other people also have a gender during this time so they have to wait i think the id card is very very important especially for my kids given the fact that every time we have to travel we need to show their birth certificates before we check in and the best certificates are very big to carry around but the ID card is very small and it's cool unlike in my home country where you have to apply for the RG only when you're of age like 15 years old and above in Brazil as soon as you're born you can apply for your RG it's portable and it's good because you can use it around for many things like to open up a bank account, identify yourself, to register on websites online, to buy things online, to do like business and many other things is very, very important. Two hours later. We've been moving around since then looking for a photo studio <laughs> to take the photo for Miguel. Oh my god, and I'm so so hungry. I knew it was first come first serve eh? that we're just gonna do it. Return back home to eat my sweet corn and beans too, but it didn't work out. So it's past 12, we have to get the photo, go back to their ID card station and give the photo. Oh my god, I can't go inside there because they're struggling to get a photo for him. So I don't want to show my face because if he sees me, he's gonna get distracted. I'm here waiting for them. 20 minutes later we just finished finally we submitted and we got their protocols we are going home but we're going to use one stone to catch two birds this area that we came to is downtown and every month i come to downtown to get fish so we're just going to use that opportunity to get some fish while we stroll around i also catch something to eat Customer, so I want to get to laugh. And we always buy to laugh here. And we have fresh to laugh here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna buy four. There's some big ones there. The good thing is that you can tell them to fix it for you. This is very nice. Fruits everywhere. Fruits. 
very succulent, cool plantain. Cool. You know what I mean? The entire says 36 choppy. Shop. Yeah, so if you want to get like, fresh food from the market for a cheaper price, you can just come here. But the difference is not too much as compared to the supermarket. But the good thing is that here you can get fresh food like straight from the farm. If you want to get fish from downtown, then you get it from the yellow building, the fish market. Today makes it three weeks. They don't send any notification or nothing. So they always say 20 days, but today makes it 15 days, like three weeks. So we're here to check. Hopefully we get it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. It's out. <laughs> he just confirmed that it's out. So I'm waiting for him to sign. First ID card. ID card! It's our first ID card. Marcelito, have you seen your ID card? Four ID cards, new ID cards. Our first ID card is free. You cannot apply for the ID card at an embassy out of Brazil. You must be in Brazil. This is a new ID card and this one carries the CPF number. So my ID card number is my CPF number. So the only thing I was waiting for my ID card is because I wanted to know their validity. Like, I wanted to know the expiration date of the ID card. So, we're done with this, done with this part. Summary of everything I've been talking about in the video is for you to apply for your RG, which is the general registry, or your CIN, which is your Kateraji Adentidaji. These are the following steps you need to follow. Number one, you need to go online and search for the right police station that carries out this application. For you to search it online, you just need to go to Google and type CIN and the state where you are. So for my state, I'm in Santa Catarina, so I'm going to type CIN Santa Catarina. And when I type it, it's going to open like this. You can see there, Policia Scientifica G Santa Catarina. And so if you're in Sao Paulo, put their scene Sao Paulo if you're in any other state you put it like that to search it out if it's not working then you put Katera G Adentidaji put your state and it's going to open on Google when you access the website the next thing you want to do is if you don't know the documents to submit then you can click on this part that says verificado os documentos. So when you click on it, it's going to show you a couple of things like are you naturalized or are you married and all these things. The next thing is you need to fill a form. To fill the form, you put your basic information like your name, your parents name, your date of birth, your address. Then it's going to take you to a dashboard where you need to book an agenda. The agenda will be booked depending on the address that you gave. Different locations will appear that you need to choose which location you want to do your application. So it's left for you to check the different address and check the one that is closest and check the one that has an open agenda as well for the date that will suit you. When you have chosen your location where you want to do your application, the next thing is you need to also choose a location where you're going to do the pickup. Usually where you do the application is where you're going to do the pickup as well. And you need a valid email because everything that is going to happen will be updated through your email. After you submit the form and you confirm, the next thing is an email will be sent to you with a, a generated protocol and code number. That will be your agendamento which is your appointment letter. You can print that out or you can download it in a PDF form and you use it for the application. Next thing, you want to check the requirements that were given to you. The requirements are if you're Brazilian, then you just need your 
birth certificate if you are a naturalized applicant you just need that pdf file that has your name that was published in their diary right and you highlight your name on it together with your rnm so if you're married you want to take your marriage certificate but this one is just optional it's not very important your marriage certificate must not be translated if you're a naturalized person everything that you want to go with should be original then you need your address as well as your phone number if you're a minor under three years old or up to three years old then you need to come along with a photograph the photograph should be three by four on a white background all right and make sure the child's eyes ears and all the frontal facial part should be visible when the day of your appointment reaches you take all these documents and the original documents and you go for your biometrics you make sure you go on the time that's on the application they're going to take your fingerprints and they're going to fill in the form and also ask you a few things like your profession your address their cep and your phone number be given a protocol paper and you look at the protocol and look at the number of days that will be given here in santa catarina is 20 days but your id card might be out before 20 days and after that you go to that location without appointment this time and you collect your id card and that's it if you find this video interesting make sure you leave a thumbs up like share and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so that you get updated every time i upload a new video in that same line Ciao!